Hi guys, this is Ranjit and as some of you might uh, know, I got the Airtel Extreme Fiber Gigabit Connections almost about three months ago. And in this uh, video, let's try to do something different. Let's try to stress this connection with the, the laptops, uh, tablets and the smartphones that I have in my mini office and see if it can handle all the devices simultaneously. And guys, just wanted to let you know that this video is being made in association with Airtel. So guys, this is the Airtel Fiber router that uh, I got. And actually this is a pretty good router. Uh, the range is very good. I didn't have to actually install any other uh, external router to this one. It has actually six different antenna. And this is the fiber connection that comes. And uh, this supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And let's just move over here. This is my MacBook Air. And uh, let's just do a speed test. I just ran it. This is over Wi-Fi. Uh, this is actually a Wi-Fi uh, 5 router. Uh, so let's just test it. To get the best speeds with gigabit connections, guys, uh, on Wi-Fi, uh, it's not ad advisable because maximum it uh, holds around 550 to max max of about 575. To get the best speeds of this gigabit connection, you have to use a wired, a wired connection. Uh, so as you can see, about 560-ish uh, we might touch. Uh, uploads, I sometimes uh, do get above 600 on uh, this one, but this is on Wi-Fi. Uh, let's test it here on this other laptop. This I have connected the wire wired connection and as you can see, I actually ran it and we got an upload of 810. I uh, actually get a max of about 816 uploads. Downloads vary a little bit. Let's just run it again and see uh, how it does. And the beauty of this uh, gigabit connection is that you can have multiple devices uh, running at the same time. No slowdown that you will notice. Again, as I've told you, it is just going uh, about 585, 90. It's uh, basically the nature of the internet. Sometimes, yes, it goes up to about, I've seen a max of about 700 and uploads. I generally get the faster uploads, uh, 850, 870 also I generally get. When I upload YouTube videos, I generally hover about 800 megabits uh, when I'm uploading uh, YouTube videos. As you can see, this is with the wired connection. So yeah, getting very good speeds and uh, let's do one thing let's just go back let's try to stress this connection as you can see uh, let's just play back one of my own videos uh, okay let's play this this and I'm going to mute the audio so this is going to uh, play and what we try to do is I have a couple of computers here so let me just open this also and uh, we're going to play as you can see we are playing this I'll just run my own videos so that we don't get into copyright issues. Let's just play some of my own videos. For example, this one. And uh, as you can see, it's playing. This is playing. I'll put this also in full screen. Uh, this is my uh, actually MacBook uh, Pro. Let's also do the same thing. Let's just play one of the videos over here. And I just wanted to show you that multiple device. And this is actually my main tablet. This is the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. Uh, again, uh, this is actually playing live, uh, what do you say, uh, news. As you can see, Republic News Live. And uh, as you can see right now, it's, yeah, this is just nothing for this connection. As you can see, all these three are actually playing here. And uh, this is actually an Alexa clock that I have. Uh, this is a smart clock. Uh, this is also connected to oh, Wi-Fi. Uh, this is actually my Wi-Fi printer that is also connected and uh, I have okay th these are the only laptops that I have here so these all are playing as you can see now let me do one thing I have a bunch of smartphones let's also try playing on them and see if uh, this connection conks off so guys as you can see uh, those videos are still playing so I brought a bunch of smartphones just that I had uh, with me as you can see over here and let's start doing the same thing let's just start playing uh, YouTube videos even on these uh, this is the Fold 2 oh let me just mute the audio let's put it full screen like this and uh, let's just continue let's just play it even on this one Let's see how it handles uh, this multiple uh, connections. Uh, this is the iPhone that we have. Let's just play it even on this one. Uh, this is, uh, again, let's just go to YouTube. Yeah, let's just play. This is the, uh, if I recall, this is the S10 Plus. Uh, this is what, the iQ that we have. Let's just play. I'm just playing my videos, guys. Don't want to fall into copyright. And... Uh, what now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven smartphones playing continuously. Let's, okay, this is my iPad Pro. So let's play it even on this one. And now, as you can see, 
uh, if we just step back all devices are uh, playing the video and still no issues with this uh, connection as you can see it's playing fine on all the devices and that's the thing with this very high speed uh, internet connections uh, even if you have a bunch of devices continuously streaming or anything uh, you have no issue so these were some of the devices that i had in this uh, mini uh, home office that i have uh, let's go to my living room uh, there we have a smart tv so let this just continue like this uh, we'll also switch on our smart tv and other gadgets and see if it handles it so guys, uh, in my living room and here we have a 4K television. So let's just try to play this Costa Rica 4K and inside, uh, as you know, some ad is going. So I'll just let it go. And uh, I also have a uh, Amazon Echo Show that's also connected. And uh, that also works. At, uh, for example, I can even say, Alexa, show me the news. So it's going to play news. Ranji, here's the latest news. So yeah, so we sometimes watch yeah, news like that. Uh, and this as you can see it's playing i'll just stop this alexa stop and uh, again i have a lot of I iot devices also that are connected to the internet for example this ac is connected to the internet and i can just use it via voice for example alexa switch on ac and it should actually switch this on and as you can see it's switched on the ac and it's showing me the temperature over there why did it set to 28 alexa set ac temperature to 24 And as you can see, it did that. Uh, and again, uh, this is still playing. And uh, just wanted to show you, this is in 4K. And let's just go back to the office setup. And here, as you can see, all the devices are still playing fine. Again, Alexa, it even shows here. So I like this display once. And as you can see, all of these devices are still playing without any hitch. And that's the thing that I've noticed with this gigabit uh, internet connection. I was not able to saturate it with even all the devices uh, that I had. So guys, as you saw, this uh, ATL uh, gigabit connection could handle heavy loads also without any issues. Uh, it could handle almost all the devices that I had in my house. Uh, for uh, To give you an idea, I have roughly about uh, 30 to 34 devices at max that I was able to connect. Those were the devices that I had. But ATL claims that this uh, connection can handle easily up to 60 uh, different devices. So again, it's a great, I would say. Uh, so that's the beauty of this gigabit connection. And I would say as a YouTuber, I am appreciating this uh, gigabit connection also. As uh, as you know, uh, these days I'm uploading most of the videos in 4K and the video size can become very big, anywhere from about five to about even nine to 10 gigabytes of size. And uh, with this, uh, uh, because this connection is so fast, it's a gigabit connection. Uh, even those big 4K files upload so fast, even before I can finish right my description uh, the video is uploaded and I also feel uh, this is a good connection for hardcore gamers also uh, because I noticed the ping levels are very good on this connection and also we know that if you are a sort of a hardcore gamer these days many of the games are have become very big that's about 80 to 120 gigabytes in size and uh, yes as the speed of this connection is really fast uh, gamers can take advantage of that also in terms of reliability I have been using this connection for almost more than three Three months now and it never went down so in terms of reliability also it's very good and i noticed that even uh, when power goes away in our society this connection actually does not go down uh, it's actually connected to my ups so i can even use the connection uh, even when the power goes out so i like that so in terms of reliability it's very good uh, but what do you guys think about this airtel fiber connection and guys if you have an airtel fiber connection do let me know your experience in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now for this video and if you guys are still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.